Hey, good morning raccoons. How are you? Sure missing ya. So here's the deal. This week we're going to get to do a lot of different bingo games, which I think is going to be fun. All right, now I know you guys have probably heard the song, but we're going to do different forms so you can uh, mark off the things as you find them. Kind of a scavenger hunt type bingo. Uh, but I thought we'd start off by singing the song. All right, now you guys have probably heard this. So I need you to get your hands ready, okay? And clap your hands together every time you hear a letter. So it goes like this. So there was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh, now the second verse, you're gonna um, skip the first letter which is B, that's right, bingo, ba, ba, ba. You ready? There was a farmer, had a dog, and bingo was his name, oh. I-N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name, oh. There was a farmer, had a dog, and bingo was his name, oh. N-G-O, N-G-O. NG, NGO and bingo was his name. Oh, all right. So we've left off the B and the I. Now, what did we leave off? Yeah, the N. All right, ready? There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, Geo, Geo, Geo and bingo was his name. Oh, now we're ready. Leave off that next letter. You ready? There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name oh 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 and bingo was his name oh there was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name oh and bingo was his name oh all right good job all right, now, I have made up a bingo board. You know, my little oops on the end here. And you can make up something like this um, for your own bingo game. Um, all you need is a grid. You're going to need a big square. You're going to need one, two, three, four, five columns right here. You're gonna make a big square and your parents can help you with this, all right? You're gonna make horizontal lines and you're gonna make vertical lines. So horizontal lines go just like the horizon, which is where the earth meets the sky. Vertical lines go up and down, okay? So make sure you leave enough space to write in letters or numbers or pictures of things out of a, well, I think you guys have newspapers, but um, draw little pictures in there. And what you're gonna do is someone will call out B4. So you're gonna look under column B and you're gonna look down, is that a four? Nope. Is that a four? Yes! So you can put a coin on there or a Cheerio or something like that so you can use the game again, don't mark it out, all right? Then someone will say, N seven. All right, let's look. N is that a seven? Nope. Is that a seven? Nope. Oh, there's a free space. You can put your Cheerio or coin on that. Is that a seven? Nope. Is that a seven? Nope. What's that? What's that? There's no seven. That means you just didn't have an N seven. So next next time, maybe you'll get the right. Um, your your board will have the right combination of letters and numbers, okay? So the next one will be, say, G13. So you look B-I-N-G. You go across and then down until you find 13, and there it is, all right? And you can make these in different orders. You can make them with different objects, and you will have a fun bingo game, okay? B-I-N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name, oh. All right, so love you, have a good day, I'm missing you, and remember, I'm a child of God, I am smart, I am kind, and I can do it. Mwah.